balancing can be done in two ways. First is called as active balancing. This is one is called as active balancing and one is called as passive balancing. In active balancing, we are adding the mass or we are subtracting the mass. So we'll add it or we'll subtract it, but extra quantity. From a given system to achieve the balancing is called as active balance. In case of passive balancing without addition or removal of mass from a system, if balancing is achieved by manipulating the inherent parameters of the system is called as passive balance. Can change the condition of the wheel. So that is called as passive balancing. But which one is more popular? Active balancing is more popular of balancing in two parts one is revolving mass and one is resonating mass revolving mass as you have seen the single mass or we can have multiple mass and multiple mass we can have a same transverse plane or we can have different transverse plane like this one is this is a situation of a single mass and is this single mass here is it a single mass case now this one is a single mass but is it in the same transverse plane? Is the transverse plane is same? And this one is a multiple mass. And is it a multiple transverse plane? One mass is here, one mass is here, one mass is here. They have different transverse plane. So multiple mass we'll discuss in two stages. One in single plane and one in multiple transverse. These are called as transverse plane. This perpendicular to axis is called as transverse plane. Similar to this, receding masses will be also classified into single mass and multiple mass. So, receding system will be something like this. We have a piston, we have a cylinder, we have a crank and connecting rod. So, is this piston will reciprocate? This piston will reciprocate. So, if it will reciprocate and since it is rotating with a uniform angular speed, so because of this one, will it have a acceleration along this one. So because of inertia, it will produce the balancing problem. And because of this one, all receiving engine cannot be operated at high speed because balancing is a major issue. But I cannot open it right now. We have to see the derivation for this one. And then we come to have certain practical difficulty there. Okay. So and then we'll go for this one, whether the balancing of receiving mass is 100% possible or is not possible. So that is a different issue. In multiple mass system, we have a same transverse plane but different axial plane. And second case is that different transverse plane but same axial plane. We can demonstrate two cases. One is this is a V engine. So this one is what? Same transverse plane. And this one is your car engine. So if the car engine has a different transverse plane, this one is V engine and this one has the same transverse plane. V engine is normally used in racing cars or is very popular for helicopters because it is very compact. This one is very popular for the automobile that is car units or buses and what it may be. And because of this one it will produce a centrifugal force. So centrifugal force will show this way that is Fc. So this centrifugal force is m into omega square multiplied by R. Simple way to balance this is to have a single mass MB. So what is MB? Is balance mass. Level for this one. We will attach this at radius equals to RB. So RB is the corresponding radius. Now since we are one plane only, there is no question of couple produce. So only condition is to be meet is sigma fy must equal to 0 or summation of all forces must equal to 0 that in general. So we have this force is and this force will go exactly opposite of this one. So we have m into omega square multiplied by r equals to mb multiplied by omega square multiplied by rp. So only necessary condition is that we should have the product of m bar multiplied by m b multiplied by r b. So actually we have two variables. One is m b and one is r b. Either you should know the radius, then we can find out mass. And if you have a mass, then we can find out radius. 
so this equation has the problem it can only produce one controlling equation so one thing you have to adjust sigma f has only produced one equation but we have two unknown so either rb should be known then we can calculate mb or if mb is known then we can calculate r vice versa let consider here a one shaft and we have three planes that these planes are transverse plane and let assume that they are supported at this end and at this end let we have a three different masses of different magnitude at different radius so let's say this is at this position let call this one is m1 to r1 let we have different mass here equals to m2 at a radius equals to r2 and let we have one more mass somewhere at this point equals to m3 at radius equals to r3 and this shaft is rotating if the shaft will rotate will it produce a centrifugal force in this direction so this will produce centrifugal force in this direction this will produce the centrifugal force in this direction the centrifugal force is this direction now this forces we can represent on the bottom figure and we want to find out that how many masses are required to balance it let's say we have one force here and let's say we have one point equals to a and one point equals to what b so let's say this force is f1 and from here to here we have a distance equals to a and from here to here distance equals to b and the total distance equals to what l considered as far as this figure is considered for this figure is sigma fy is minus of f1 sigma fy i will say just f it is simply minus f at the same time is the moment of this force about point a is equals to clockwise is it f multiplied by a and is the moment of this force about point b minus of f into b okay now what i will do is that instead of writing this force in one part i will write this force as this one okay so i am purposefully doing this and i will write this condition equals to what f1 and this equals to what f2 so uh, for this equation also is f1 minus f2 if same as previous value of nsf then are these two systems are same system or we can put up the condition like this that f is always equals to what f1 plus f2 second thing is that if i take this point equals to a and this point equals to b and if i take the moment about point a what is the moment of force about point a so moment of force about point a equals to f multiplied by a from the previous case if the same moment will also generate this system then is both systems are equivalent systems so if i want to produce the moment moment of f1 about a zero what is the moment of f2 about a is f2 multiplied by what l so can we calculate f2 is f what f multiplied by a divided by l and if i use the second condition i can directly calculate the value of f1 or otherwise you can put this value back here and are we able to calculate value of f1 so idea is that can we divide one force into two forces this system is same as this system pehle itna aap se kitne logo ko samajh mein aaya original system has been converted into two unbalanced forces that is r1 and r2 to balance r1 we attach m1 at a certain radius equals to what r1 let call this one is mb1 rb1 and to balance r2 exactly in opposite position i will place mb2 at radius equals to what rb2 so any number of masses we have in a transverse plane 
can effectively balance by only two masses at two different planes. That planes are called as reference plane. This one is reference plane and this one is reference plane. Now it is your job where you want to play, place the reference plane. So depending upon the space, they can be adjusted. 